So far this summer, Manchester United have signed Romelu Lukaku and Victor Lindelof, a striker and a centre-back, two key areas that Jose Mourinho needed to strengthen this summer. But there are still other areas in the squad which are quite weak, which is why I'm extremely happy to see this article come out from Duncan Castles, who we all know is Jorge Mendes and Jose Mourinho's mouthpiece. Now, he is saying that Jose Mourinho wants to give Zlatan Ibrahimovic a short-term contract from January onwards, and he's sanctioned Manchester United to give him that offer. But why is that linked to other positions? Now, here's the interesting part. Duncan Castles is saying that because of that, Jose Mourinho doesn't need to bring in another striker. And because of that, it allows him to strengthen in three other areas. Not that he wasn't going to already, but it means that he can invest a bit more in these areas. Number one, being a holding midfielder. Praise the Lord, that is the position that Man United desperately need to strengthen. Then you're looking at a fullback. Then you're looking at a winger who can also operate as a number 10. I think we all know who we all want to be that holding midfielder. Fabinho from Monaco. And it makes even more sense when you hear that Mourinho wants to bring in a fullback because Fabinho operates as a right back. He played there before he moved into that defensive midfield role that he made so good at Monaco. And then you're looking at a winger who can also operate as a number 10. Now, Man United definitely need an out and out winger on the left wing, somebody who can cut round and fire in crosses. And Ivan Perisic, he definitely ticks the box in that regard. One look at his stats from last season in comparison to Man United's other wingers, and you can see why Jose Mourinho is interested in him. He has more crosses effectively than all of our other wingers. More goals, more assists. And if you watch a little bit of footage of him playing, you can see that he is a direct winger. He doesn't faff around, cutting it outside, passing it back. He beats his man and he whips in a cross. Now, the finishing at Inter Milan was poor last season and he still managed to get a fair few assists. I think Paul Pogba might be able to relate to that because of what happened to Man United last season. But you can understand the Perisic rumours and understand exactly why Mourinho wants to bring him in. I think in the number 10 role, I think we're quite happy. I mean, Juan Mata can operate there. Henry Mkhitaryan can operate there. And Andreas Pereira is coming into the squad this season and he can more than operate there. He actually played out on the left for Granada last season on loan. So he's got a little bit of experience there. So he'll probably get a few games there. Maybe he'll start there against LA Galaxy. We'll be doing our predicted start 11, so make sure you check that out as well. But if you're looking at those two positions, you understand. If you're looking at fullback, I say Man United need to strengthen at right back more than left back. I think Antonio Valencia was superb last season, but there's absolutely no way he can keep that level of intensity up every single game, twice a week, when we're playing Champions League football against elite opposition, in comparison to the Europa League anyway, certainly at the group stage. So I think we need somebody to come in at right back, again, which is why the Fabinho stories make so much logical sense. Mourinho, why haven't you signed him already? Ooh, maybe you don't want him, I don't know, but it just makes so much sense for Man United. Are you looking at left back? You know, yes, on paper, Man United need to strengthen, but I really hope that Mourinho has the faith in Luke Shaw this year. This is his season, right? If Luke Shaw, by the end of this campaign, hasn't refound his feet, I don't think he's going to be afforded any more time at Manchester United and he will be moved on as a player. But the kid's got determination. He has worked through a horrible year after that double leg break and he got such a bad timing, bad, cruel injury towards the end of last season when he had to hobble off after like nine, ten minutes and he was ruled out for the rest of the season. He can be our left back. Him with Martial, him with Perisic, that could be a dangerous, dangerous partnership that I want to see. And I think Demetri Mitchell coming through was fantastic on his debut against Crystal Palace. He's definitely strengthened there. And if you really want, you can play Rojo there when he's back from injury. Daley Blink can play there. And let's not forget Matteo Darmian, who was arguably the man of the match in the Europa League final against Ajax and really proved his worth towards the second half of the season last year. So Darmian can play there. I would think we, if you're looking at the priorities from here on in, in the, going towards the end of the transfer window in August 31st, of course. Holding midfielder, numero uno. That's the priority we need to sort. Number two, a winger that can maybe operate as a number 10, but I would say a winger, whether that be Perisic or maybe other alternatives like, I don't know, Marco Royce, Carrasco, that's a few names that people have been saying, Dembele as well from Dortmund. Any others, let me know what you think in the comments below. But I would say those two positions first and foremost. And if you can get Fabinho in, you don't have to spend wild loads of money on a backup right back. You could got him to then support Valencia. 
That, and I just, it makes so much more sense. That, that's, that's, that's my opinion on the matter, but what do you think? For me, hearing Duncan Castle saying this about Jose Mourinho's intentions, that's what I want to hear. Mourinho, he's still intent on making key signings in key areas. We've already done two big ones, but Man United still have to do quite a bit this summer if we are going to mount that title challenge and do something in Europe instead of getting knocked out at the group stage of the Champions League. But who would you sign in these positions? Do you think these are the three areas that we do need to strengthen? Let me know in the comments below, as always. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to United People's TV if you're new here. See you soon. Take it easy.